All right, YouTube, what is going on? It's Hightower 5000 here today, bringing you a recipe for disaster free the Lumbridge Sage quest guide. The requirements for this quest must have 40 cooking, completed recipe for disaster, another cook's quest, big trumpet bird hunting, biohazard, demon slayer, murder mystery, nature spirit, and witch's house. The items I'll require for this quest are a bucket of milk, an egg, a cake tin, and a pot of flour. Once you're ready, make your way to Lumbridge Castle Kitchen. So once you arrive at the quest start point, you want to go ahead and open the door into the dining room. You want to go around to the northeast side of the table and you want to go ahead and inspect that Lumbridge Sage. Select option number one, yes, I'm sure I can make a cake. So from here we need to head to the Wizard's Tower. The best way of doing this is using the Draenor Lodestone and then running south. So once you arrive outside the wizard's tower, go ahead and enter into the wizard's tower. You then need to go up to the second floor. This is UK, so this really means the third floor. We're on the ground floor right now. We'll then go up to the first floor. You need to go to the second floor, so you need to ascend the beam twice. And then you should see wizard Treyborn. Go ahead and speak with. You then want to select option number one, ask about Lumbridge Sage. So once you finish talking to him, go ahead and re-speak with him again. Select option number one, ask about the Lumbridge Sage. And then you want to select option number one, okay, let's start. Now what we need to do here is go ahead, pay attention to the wee cutscene that's going to come up. We basically just need to go ahead and identify the person. All the answers are on screen. So just go ahead, try and memorize the person and then match it up with the description and then just go ahead and give the wizard the name. The things you are looking for are the gender, that's one big thing. As you can see there, that looks like a female, and I think it looks like a green witch. So as you can tell by the answers shown on screen, I can tell that that is Hetty. Now this is different for every single player. You're not going to be getting the same as me, so just go ahead and do it now yourself. One thing to note, if you do actually land up missing the cutscene, just go ahead and re-speak with them. You need to get three in a row to get this right. If you get one wrong, you'll just have to do it again. And then once you get all three right, he will then take your egg from you. So now that we're done that, we're going to go ahead and do a similar thing for the milk. So go ahead, re-speak with them. He's actually keeping our egg safe, so don't worry about that for now. Ask about Lumbridge Sage, option number one. And this time he's actually going to be asking us questions. So select option number one, okay, I'm ready. He'll then read you out the first question. Again, it's the same sort of format, get three correct in a row, and then you'll be able to enchant our milk. So again, all the questions are different, so I've just got the answers on screen. Go ahead and match up the appropriate ones now. And then once you answer three of them correctly, he will then take your milk away and enchant it for you. So guess what? We're going to go ahead and do the same with the flower. So go ahead and re-speak with the wizard. Go ahead and select option number one, ask about Lumbridge Sage. Select option number one, quiz me. So you're basically then going to get a wee inventory full of items. We don't need to memorize this, so just go ahead and close this. But it's going to then ask you a question straight after. Basically, all the questions are on screen with the appropriate answers. Go ahead and match them up. As I said, it is different for every player. So just go ahead and do this and get three correct in a row. And then once you've done that, it's going to take your pot of flour and then it should give you everything back. So you then want to go ahead and use one of the ingredients on the cake tin. This should then give you a raw guide cake. 
From here you want to teleport back to Lumbridge and then you want to go ahead and enter into the Lumbridge Castle Kitchen. Once you're back in the kitchen you want to go ahead and use the raw cake on the cooking range. And then this should give you a cake of guidance. You then want to re-enter into the dining room. You then want to go back round to the Lumbridge Sage. You want to use the cake on the Lumbridge Sage and then that should be this sub-quest complete. So congratulations, you've completed recipe for disaster freeing the Lumbridge Sage. You're awarded with 2,500 cooking XP, 2,500 magic XP, one quest point, increased access to the Polinar Romancer's Chest and two Treasure Hunter Keys. Thank you very much for watching this quest guide. Please leave a like, rating and subscribe if you are new around here. Go down into the description below. Check out my other quest series playlist where I'm sure I'll be able to help you out with another quest. And that is all for this video. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Hightower5000 and I'm out. Adios.